Well, we actually think that the energy sector is probably the most contrarian sector in the entire share market at the moment. Um, if you look at how energy has performed globally, it's underperformed significantly um, over the last 10 years, probably even longer than 10 years. I mean, in Australia, it's underperformed um, the ASX 300 by about 10% a year for 10 years. In the US, the energy sector relative to the broader S&P 500 is at close to a 30-year low um, you know, in terms of its valuation. And it's even lower now than what it was uh, in early 2016 when oil prices were at $30 a barrel. You know, today we've got oil prices above $50 a barrel, between $50 and $55 a barrel. Um, and the sector is still cheaper than what it was at that point in time. Um, and we think that you know, there are probably a couple of reasons why this dynamic has occurred. So I think when you look at um, the prospects for oil demand, a lot of investors are quite skittish about what impact um, electric vehicles, for example, will have on demand for oil um, and what uh, the impact of stricter climate change regulations might be going forward. Um, and so I think that uncertainty is causing a lot of investors to pull back from investing in the sector because um, oil demand looks like it's under a lot of pressure. Um, at the same time, there's been you know, a lot of um, oil production coming out of um, onshore U.S. reserves, and there's an abundance of onshore U.S. reserves, especially for shale oil producers. And so that um, excess supply has created a bit of a glut in the market and has it hasn't been supportive um, of oil prices. So those things in combination have made this sector a very disliked sector in the market. Um, but in our view, you know, the, the economics of the industry seem to be dictating that oil prices are just too low at this point in time. And the reason we say that is because, you know, when we look at the shale oil producers in the US, who we think are probably the marginal producers in the industry, and uh, it's not entirely clear whether that's the case, but it, you know, it looks like they probably are the marginal producers. Um, they don't really generate a positive free cash flow at current oil prices. And so you know, it's hard for us to see how that industry can be sustainable if oil prices don't increase. Uh, we, you know, we've done a lot of detailed work to try and understand what free cash flow they generate um, when they are at steady state production or when they increase production. And in order for them to increase production, oil prices will need to be a fair bit higher than where they are currently. Now, you know, going back to your question around uh, an example of a company in the sector that we like. So one of the companies that we've uh, got about 5% of our portfolio um, of our equity fund invested in is Oil Search. Um, Oil Search is a company that has um, an LNG facility in PNG, and it also has some mature oil fields um, in PNG as well, and some undeveloped reserves in Alaska and PNG. And at current oil prices, um, we think that Oil Search is trading on an enterprise value to free cash flow of about 11 times, which is reasonably cheap um, in a market where enterprise value to free cash flow is probably 14 to 15 times for the overall market. So it's trading at a fair discount to the market. And that's at already what we think are oil prices that are not really sustainable for the industry. So you know, we think that if some level of rationality returns to the industry and um, you know, the shale oil players and other oil producers were to behave uh, you know, in a bit more uh, sustainable way going forward, then higher oil prices should be supportive uh, you know, of, a, of the upside in that oil search investment.